Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Business Minute. My name is Beverly Banks, and I'm one of the many Young Living Leaders. And I'm so excited that you have decided to watch this video because that means that you are interested in creating a Facebook fan page. Now, there are two ways to interact with people, um, well, more than that, but um, I want to just explain the difference between a Facebook fan page and a Facebook group because they are very often confused. So what a fan page is, is that is going to give you the ability to put up a page that is just for your Young Living business. So when you put up your Facebook fan page, you can have a cover photo for your business. You can start posting about it. What you cannot do is you cannot contact the individual members in a big O group. You can just post to the page and that's it. So the interaction with individual people who like your fan page is very limited, but the upside to it is that it allows people to interact with your business and to see the posts that you make about that business without there being a lot of the extra things that can happen in a group. So it is um, less time consuming than having and keeping up with the group, but it is more limiting in your interactions with the individual members of that group. So how do you start a group? Well, welcome back to our uh, Jane Smith page. Jane Smith is not a real person, and she has exactly one friend. So <laughs> if you want to become friends with our fake Facebook profile, um, feel free. So um, what we're going to do is, is the first thing you want to do is you actually need to find a fan page. And my fan page is real, so feel free to use it if you would like to. Um, so we're going to go to the leaf drop right here. And you can use any fan page that you know of, and you're going to find the exact same button. So this is the leaf drop. It's my fan page. And the only thing you really need, um, if you want to like it, that'd be great. Jane wants to like it. There we go. Um, but you want to select Create Page. And when you select Create Page, it's going to ask you what the purpose of this fan page is. Um, is it a cause? Is it a brand? Are you a public figure? Is it for entertainment? Um, company, organization, local business? Um, read through there and just kind of see what it is that you would like. So we're going to go with um, a company or organization. Um, now you're going to have the ability to select a lot of different industries. Um, we're going to select health and beauty, and the company name is going to be James Young Living Oils. And actually, let's go ahead and do Young Living Essential Oils. So Facebook will go to work right away. Um, and what's going to happen is, is that now when it begins to create your page, you're going to need to tell people a little bit about what your page is. So you're going to add a description, um, and it's just a few sentences. So we're going to say, um, like this page for... Wonderful education about let's do about the health benefits of essential oils. Then if you have a website uh, then if you have a website, you can actually put your website in there. Um, Jean doesn't, so I, I don't want to fill that in because I don't want to trip it up somehow. Um, so you'll hit Save Information. You can also skip this as well. If you don't want to add your description right away, um, that is perfectly fine. You can just hit Skip, and then it will move forward to your profile picture. So now people are very, very, very visual. And you want to make sure that you have great, compelling pictures. 
Now, people also like to interact with spaces. So when it comes to a profile picture for your fan page, I highly recommend that it be a face. Now, it doesn't need to be your face necessarily. It can be like a smiling family or something like that. But create something that's very dynamic that you get drawn to. Because if you are drawn to it, that means that other people will be drawn to it as well. Next. You can also go through and now begin to select who your preferred audience is. And what's great is, is that Facebook will sometimes go through and suggest your page to other people. So you can select, uh, let's say that you just want people who are in your local area, or you just want people within the United States. And you're going for, um, I always set my minimum age to be 25. Um, you don't have to do that, but I know to really get into essential oils and Young Living essential oils, um, it seems like that age range starting at 25 is actually better than starting with somebody in their teens. So um, then as far as gender goes, you can look at that. When it comes to interests, um, there's all manner of different kinds of interests. If you hit the Browse button over here, it will be able to tell you um, exactly how many people are in there. And then over here, it's going to keep up with the number of people that are um, in the categories so that you can try to drill down um, on a specific niche. Of course, you can also skip that as well and just come back to it later. So next what's going to happen is you will have a very long URL um, that will be connected to your page. And it's always nice to have a nice, tidy URL up here that's going to be really easy to share with people. Now, what we can do here is with the URL that it does give you, you can copy and paste that into emails. Um, you can send it off to people. Um, you can really do a lot with the URL that you are given. After you receive 25 likes, you will have the option to change that URL to where it will become uh, www.facebook.com slash pages, and then it will be slash jamesyounglivingessentialoils.com. And that will really help people to be able to find your page. So Facebook also um, has a lot of tutorials and will really take you through um, how to do everything. So how to like your page, what all of this means, how you can use it. So set up your page and really take the time to go through and set it up right. Um, these call to action buttons are also a little bit new. And you can create um, a call to action that will bring people to your website. So it can be shop now. I use learn more a lot. Um, contact us, book, play a game, sign up if you have a newsletter, watch a video, and then you can put in your URL right there as well. So um, anyway, take a look at creating your Facebook page. Um, I think you're going to be really happy with the information that can be given out um, through a Facebook fan page. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time today. And good luck in the future with your business. And I hope that you enjoy having a Facebook fan.